So we're gonna start with Nico Kill because I was looking at the statistics and somehow this deck is like just outside of the top five for highest win rate decks in the game. This deck currently sits at a 57% win rate. Crazy. The, the, okay, so we, just for just so you guys know, the highest win rate deck in the game right now is Shivana Morgana Elder Dragon with a 60% win rate. Then it's Garen Galio Elder Dragon, also with a 60% win rate. It's the Elite's version, basically. Then it's Scouts. <laughs> yeah, so there's three Demacia decks in the top three. Uh, then we have Nora Bandle City, which is close to the version that we play with Banana Blaster. Then it's Heimerdinger Jace. Okay, we wait a second, so I think it's uh, it's Nico. Then it's Heimerdinger Jace. Then it's Timo Nico. And then it's this deck at 57% win rate. Oh, we're getting lurked on. God damn it. Is Gem dead? It, it it very well might be. Okay, uh, so th that's that's a six attack dude right now, but we have uh, we have Sunburst for the Kexai. Wow. Okay, we we're kind of getting lurked on here. <laughs> Pretty hard. Okay, we just need to keep the Sunburst for when they attack. Oh, that's that's a great draw actually. Wow, that is an insanely good draw. Spyro with a 20 stream streak, my god. Also, the, the volume might have been pretty low. Uh, let me know if this volume is better. Because we played Battle Tool yesterday and that was loud. <gasps> a new species. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the lurk now. One? Hey, Nico's leveled! Nah, that's actually pretty fast. Imagine if, th if this was a Nico, by the way. If this was a Nico, dude, we'd be in business. All right, so they're gonna play Kexai. We're gonna sunburst it. <gasps> a new species. Oh. And now we're actually in a pretty okay-ish spot. That's a miss lurk. I'm gonna block your lurker with my 1-1 one -one lurker. Yeah, I think I do need to Luxie Mode for that one, actually. You're right. Aren't you a weird one? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're in their head now. We've mind controlled them. We are in. Oh. <laughs> they had another Rek'Sai on top. Oh my... Okay, no, I... They got me. They got me. They actually got me. Oh god, if we if we found when Nico we or ahead, kill him, it would have been pretty good. I think we really needed the Nico though. How much damage is this? Eleven. I mean, I don't care about this thing. Missed the elite synergy. Oh, it could have been three twos. You're right. A new species. I I mean, it I, it doesn't matter though, man. What what, what could have been a better block? I had no other better block. Yeah, wait, Are they just, you you're right, they just one. predicted it. Oh. I mean, if they lurk, it's pretty Jover. So, the only reason that this. <laughs> the only reason that this thing right here is a 3 3 is because of the Snow Dog. We've had zero buffs. <laughs> Alright, just don't rally on me. Don't rally on me, dude. Come on, don't don't do it. Okay. Okay. What good is freedom to the dead? All right. It can be yeah, so we're for that fifty-seven percent win rate. Okay, but that was that was kind of an insane high roll, though, wasn't it? 
That, that we got lurked hard there. Jesus. I, they found what three rex eyes? We we need a one Nico man. One Nico. That, it was, yeah, it was five. Was it five rex eye hits? I guess it was technically because it was on the board twice and I lurked it three times. It was an outplay. It was. We're running one hush, two sombers, I believe. The one, I mean, I like the Omen Hawk a lot. This is so many sub types, though. Okay, we're always gonna draw Nico. <laughs> Bird, dog, Poro, spider, cat. This is nuts. Wait. It's a pink rose. I mean, hmm. I do kind of wonder, are you supposed to use Heart Mulligan for Nico with this deck? It's possible, right? Maybe you do need to use Heart Mulligan for it. Especially against decks like Lurk, right? Oh my god. Reporting in. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure about attacking with it. It is what it is. I think, I think we should probably win before the Teemo gets to do much. Should we keep the yeah, but I'm playing Nico, so you know, I kind of have to attack with it B because Bird plus one for Nico. I, I guess because we don't have Nico, I shouldn't have. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna attack here, get the buff, and then we'll develop these two and play the next turn. This is good for us because they just use like they essentially use three cards, one of them is the backpack, so that does close to nothing. And then the Mystic plus Poison Dark to remove a dog. It's not good for them. It's good for us. That's Kale. <laughs> well, that's... We played against Lurk. They got multiple Rek'Sai hits. Now we're playing as Teemo. With a level 2 Teemo on turn 4. Huh. What is the concept of this deck? It's... Mm, it's not even small Celestials, no. It's just Targon for the Wandering Shepherd, Zolani, Kale, Porofly. And some protection. Okay, they have, they have literally no cards in hand. Ew. Um, so we'll do this because it draws and I want to draw before the Teemo hits again. Okay. Yeah. Hot on the trail. On the trail. Out of tents. Oh man. Well, Nico's level again. We leveled Nico really fast. There is that. Oh. Three HP. Huh? They must be planning to kill us. So if they develop, we can spell slinger to Teemo, and that's that's big. It's pretty huge. Slippery. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's good for us because that that means this doesn't go to the Nexus. For All right, just please don't. Do you have one card? It just needs to not be Karina, you know. It just needs to not be Karina. Oh, oh my, okay. Examining the evidence. How the hell? Yeah, idiot. That's what I thought. Not even close. Not, not even I a little close. Win, and my aim no. Is Only I can do that when I play Teemo. All right, 58 rooms. Easy win. Well, these are awful. Wait, oh, this could have been from the uh, from the Trinket Trade. It probably was from Trinket Trade, or this one was from Trinket Trade. Yeah, no, no Nico draws for. I think we have to heart Mulligan for Nico from now on. I, yeah, don't worry about it, dude. All right, we we could easily die. They have they have one insider knowledge. They, they could draw the other. One. 
We're averaging two shrooms per draw. Like two two point three shrooms or something per draw. That's the third drink tray. They picked it so fast. You're joking. Wait. Okay. GG. Woo! All right. Got him. That was like we leveled kill there. We we went pretty fast, but there was no Nico. And we need we need the Nico, but that that is literally what it is. If you're trying to do some something specific with a unit or with a champion or with like one card that you really care about, it's really easy for Shrima to just say like, "Hey, I'm gonna make sure that you can actually play this card and stop your opponent from killing you too fast or making sure that they have stuff that you can't interact with because I give you quicksand." Also, my mic is okay. I don't know what they're playing. Uh, I'll keep. No, I was fumbling. It's not the worst end. So this into this is pretty good. I'll just play. Yeah, I've been all right. I I I'm uh I'm operating on a very big lack of sleep, but I felt like playing some Rune Terra, so I just turned on stream on a whim. I remember when the hourglass nerf happened, and they said it wasn't intended to be to protect your champ region. Yeah, it's super strange. So, <laughs> to me, it feels like Shirima had these decks with like Viego, um, which for like, I play Viego with his package, and then I'm going to play Hourglass to protect them, Quicksand and Right to make sure you don't win in the easy way. I, I don't know. That was too strong, right? Like the going all in one champion was too strong. But then they also lost their identity a little bit when they when they nerfed those tools because yeah, what? How, how do you play your ascendance? Like how how can you go all in on Renick and Arnassus anymore? Those were kind of cringe. I kind of like that. I didn't hate it. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. Plenty to go round. There's no way Anura isn't secretly broken. Literally, old mayor. I think Anura is very strong, but it's a three mana two two, and that is significantly worse than mayor being a three mana two three that also manifests a card. I think that's the that's a good thing about it. It manifested a card. Do I need to silence that? I don't think I do. Do I? I can just like let them pull this. And then we'll play our stuff anyway. We already attacked with a reptile. I would have liked them not to kill this. That's a reptile. Two spiders. And the player is a shapeshifter. Bird reptile, dog shapeshifter. So spider poro should do it. Spider. Poro. That's leveled Nico. He was a 2-2 on release. Yeah, but again. Um, manifest a card on summon that synergizes with his own effect. Which is where most of the power came from. You could play Mayor, and then you could manifest a card you could play in the same turn. And that's where things became a little crazy. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Um... I like being mana efficient here, so let's go Kale into Zolani. Home is just around the portal. That's pretty good draw, actually. Mine is the one well. All right, good luck with that attack. Now they could get rid of the keyword. It is. 
They played two explorers. Your blood demands more. I think they're going to disable this keyword. No. That's okay. That's a really good card for them. Actually. So I should start here to see what they do with this, and then I could potentially like give scout to something. Like even scout kill might not be bad. You what? Huh? Those are awful! Bruh. I, I, I could have had anything there, man. Overrun would have done it even. Scout or Overrun was so good there. Persistence is key. Yeah, man. This isn't the way. Dang. Okay, so they will be playing Warden? On wings of fire, hope ascends! Uh, I feel like it's gonna be like plus five, plus five or something. I think we're in a decent spot. It feels like we're in a decent spot. That that, that card from Conch though? This one was actually nuts. I mean, it could have been anything else. It could have been like a regular freeze and it would have been the same effect. But it stopped our attack really well. Let's kill give one... No, so he gives plus one attack on summon and plus one plus one when she levels. When I'm summoned or level... Oh, uh, when she's summoned on level two as well then. Buried... I mean, buried is fine. I'm pretty sure we beat buried. I think buried would be an awful play for them because we just play another kill. Yeah, they can't play buried. That's kind of a cool card. That is cool. Yeah, I think opponent left. Yeah, I'm still thinking about doing that video. Uh, apparently, th there's been other creators doing like, what if Hearthstone cards were in Runeterra type of concept. Uh, but I'm still going to try with it. It's kind of really exciting. Yeah, so if I were to summon a 6-6 six -six here, it would just put Nora back in their deck. The, 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 um, the expansion name for Hearthstone is called like, Whizbangs of Workshop. It's all like toys and stuff. And the original King Crush, <laughs> they call this King Plush, because the other one's called King Crush. It's a 9 mana 8 8 with charge, and that's it. It's just like a go face card. Smork. Psychic Scream. Oh, so, wow, you remember Psychic Scream? Yeah, the priest card. Psychic Scream was a 7 mana. Put all minions into your deck or something. Literally everything on the board was put into your deck or the opponent's. I think it was your deck. Carlos Sag Oh, I can't pronounce that. I don't know why I started reading out that name. That's not something I should do. That's not my that's not my niche. I'm not I'm not the guy that does voice lines every time something gets played. I'm not the guy that reads out the name and the deck we're playing in. That's not me. I just say funny words. They did with Patchwork and Flick Skyship where they just kill off stuff in your... Yeah, there's literally a card in Hearthstone that says delete or just like kill a unit and all copies of it with the same name. It is the printer counter. Could you imagine if I had to play against that? They, they would like target my... I don't know, but you, I guess you can target a wildfire or like a time bomb or something. Okay, I, I guess it's not. I don't usually print minions. I usually print spells or landmarks. But imagine, right? Let's say we were printing Omenhawk. They kill one Omenhawk and your entire deck full of Omenhawk gets obliterated. Yeah, it's like a six mana four for that doesn't do it. It's, 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 it's a Venus on a stick. Plus it removes everything else. If you could, what type of card would you voice? Yeah, I mean... Somebody, I would, I would, I would probably voice like a a follower that's good looking, talented, uh, knows how to play cards, um, high rolls, stays up to date with everything, is educated. I, I guess I just 
voice a card that looked like me. Yeah. Damn, this is a bird. Oh, if, if, if we didn't have um, the bird or another one drop. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get scout. Anyone seen any sheep around here? I, uh... So Tom Kench? <laughs> sure, Tom Kench works. Oh, if we had this last turn, it would have been leveled Nico. Damn it. You can't look like Wiggly Burblefish. Hey, screw you, man. That was unnecessary. Come on. Literally, you just saying like, hey, you look like the war crime card. Oh, well, we're looking for, I, I think uh, our opponent might be playing our deck, the all-in dragon deck. I just realized. Yeah, I mean, yeah, un unfortunate. We're just a little bit faster. So I can either, oh no, it has challenger. So it kills this, so we give it to Nika, right? Uh huh. No, I guess we can't. Nico is making her own tribe now. Bird dog, elite weapon master. I can't attack her because she just dies. I'm on. Am I on? It could Nico, potentially level die. or stay alive this turn. Nico. If they stay alive this turn, they play like a Harsh Winds, and then next turn they play the Brute Father. We should be fine. This needs to be a Harsh Winds. Here. They're still off. <laughs> that that kill went fast. Yeah, no, we 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 absolutely obliterate decks like this, and it it hurts me because that's. That's honestly probably a funner deck to play. Yeah, no, it is. We, we, we lost twice against Gwen Zep, and both of the times they just piloted it like horrendously. But yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Uh, we have our Porofly. We're gonna go Porofly Nico. So, what you're saying is play Gwen Zep for easy masters? Unironically, yeah. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. I pass against that because the Polar Poro denied the progress. Uh, I'll play the deck on first. Bra Bra? I need to fire it though. The fire it is insane. This is actually a really, really disgusting turn we can potentially have. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna pass here. I'm gonna make them think this is Nico, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Anora and Fruit. Oh my god. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Where they go off to? Wait, yeah, we're just winning the game. If it helps or slithers, it's my kind of critter. Dude, look at this. Three. <laughs> Four. Five, six. That's a leveled Nico on turn four. A new species. That is that is one of the most disgusting turns I've ever had. Um, I mean, honestly, Sans more on Emily is pretty good. That's a bird. We don't have a bird yet. Fay. Reptile. They're gonna know that this is Nico, though. They could silence her. They're not silencing her. Okay, well, <laughs> you're pretty screwed, though, dude. Yeah, I was thinking about the scout to give it to Nico, but I, if 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 they have a normal hand, I don't think that'll work. And you thought Zed Gwen was disgusting? Yes, I do actually. Yes, and I still think that deck is much more disgusting than this. Yeah, absolutely. I stand by that. We're not playing an Ionia deck, so it kind of speaks for itself, too. Turn four, Nico. Yeah. Special. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you, you, you top deck Zolani and Nico just go, uh, or this thing goes, a new species! So happy about it. Okay, Nico could die to a sunburst here. Are you a weird one? This is, uh, this is pretty interesting here. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna attack. And they're probably gonna die. I, I guess they could have Hush. What have Poros done to you? Yeah. Turn four level Nico. Okay, Anura and Froop is not okay. This is not an okay card. Wow. Yay! Everyone is invited to picnic. Dude. Brian. Brian Koplek from the Rune Terror team, I swear, his tweets are so funny. <laughs> Look at this. Do I have to play one XKO first to understand the story? Nah. <laughs> uh, that's that's a bagger actually. That that's that's a bagger tweet right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alright, soul harvest me. There you go. Wow. Yep. That is the final name. It's 2XKO, not 1XKO. Damn. Attack with that dog would have been good, man. It would have been good. Weak attack. I think Shepard's authority is better here. I did one Yordle portal and suddenly geography means nothing. Um. So I hate to inform you, but that's that's not my that's not my Nico. So I I get it. But it's it's not. <laughs> they probably thought that was Nico. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I took a really did I take a long no, I didn't even take a long time with that. I didn't. Dog. Faye. So they might know this is Nico. Psychopath behavior. Psychopath behavior, guys. Back to the mountain. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Uh, Cat Lurker, yeah. No, we're, it's pretty far off. Who the hell runs that? It's, it's a removal pile. So, Fey, Oro, Spider. My blade shall illuminate the dark. It's a terrible card right now, too, by the way. It's it's an unplayable card. But if you're addicted to removal piles, then yeah, I guess you put it in your deck. I don't what is this play? Deliverance! What? Just to kill Nico? It's not worth it, man. I'm telling you. They haven't even ramped yet. Cat, Fey, Lurker, Poro, Spider. Darken. Oscan Neden. Thank you for the prime sub. I like the name 2XKO. I don't think it's bad. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's it's no Smash Bros, you know. Just 
I have to just attack before they ruinate me. It might actually be better to put the weapon on the Poro. Because of that. So next turn, play Volibear. This is fine though if they play Volibear. Only one unit dies on average. Four, six. Oh, okay, that's good for us. I think that wins this game. Dog Spider. Nico is making her own tribe now. Cat Fay Lurkapuro. Cat, Fey, Lurkapura. Shapeshifter, Weapon Master. Darken. <laughs> Be Coplek. <laughs> Thank you for the five months. Uh, I don't know if you were here a minute ago when I was appreciating your tweet and said it was the funniest thing I'd read all day. Oh wait, you were there! I didn't even see it! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I do a really bad job of reading Chad. <laughs> that, that was good. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, you for the five months. Stop me. <laughs> oh no, wait! No, that, that was not your message. No, that was... Oh, I, I, I saw your message history and i look back and that was from 10 days ago it just it just matched up really well with what just happened <laughs> it, your message that was me i wrote that <laughs> so i was like oh i must have missed that message when you said that <laughs> nice <laughs> you cannot stop me obey your king give me two champs i will build a deck with them non rune terror champs uh hey let's try victor and zoe or maybe Pike and Rek'Sai. I feel like people haven't tried that one before. Oh my... Bro's running an ice cream shop, man. You cannot stop me! You matter so little. Actual better player? Yeah, my opponent can have three freezes, but when I go to McDonald's, their McFlurry machine is broken every time. I don't buy it. Ah, the Viego's dead. Yeah, that's the worst that could happen. Might actually not have him. That Abilene was brutal, man. Triple freeze? Oh my god, another Hydro Blind. I don't know if the Nico can get us through even now. Okay, we have to draw. This star brings death. That was top decked, man! I probably have to pill Cascade here. Oh my god, wait. Actual Yugi. The bite doesn't hurt, but the venom sure does. 12, 7. Oh, we're alive. I, think I should go for the draw now. No, if I find like an elusive, I might need it to buff them up. No, I have weapons. That was ridiculous. That was kind of ridiculous, actually. The fact they they pulled the Hydra Vine for extra attackers from War Mother, and then found Volibear off the top. Does he actually have Breath Cutter? I think he's just Breath Cutter. I am the Doom of all. I think we cannot win. I'm gonna be honest here. No, this one, this one's Jover. 
Wow, that was pretty ridiculous, actually. All right, just end me, dude. End me. Triple, f one less freeze, and I wouldn't have had it. And then they also cleared the board with the avalanche. Oh, yeah, okay, all right, well, you... <laughs> sure, go ahead. My god, man. That was absolutely insane. Did you? Where did that Vala come from? Uh, War Mother. Okay, show the deck. If you go to my runetarot.ar profile, it will show up in my match history. You can just yoink the code. Swap to Battlegrounds for stress relief? Eh. Nah. I'm good. I like Battlegrounds, though. I might do a Battlegrounds stream at some point. I mean, you have to look for Snooey on runetarot.ar. Just type in Snooey and go to my match history. And then you'll find it. Have you bought any bartender skins, though? I bought the... I bought the season pass once or twice. The, the one I usually have is uh, Reno Jackson, the latest one. And I had Headmaster Keltuzad before that, I think. I really like Headmaster Keltuzad, but I played him so much that uh, I had to switch it up. So now I'm just using Reno Jackson. Bob alone is all you need. Bob is pretty base. Yeah, I, I like Bob. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Okay, so we're gonna pass? Or not pass, we're gonna wait? Oh, I'm waiting. Oh man, I wonder... Maybe I'm playing Nico. You know, maybe this is a Nico. Maybe you should kill this one. Maybe you should kill that one. I waited a long time. It's probably a Nico. It's probably a Nico. Worth a try. I think you can win this as I match against first place and die when I was stabilizing. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Bob. No, what am I saying? Bob is a jerk. Screw Bob. We hate Bob. <laughs> I think you can win this. <laughs> What a guy. Yeah, I think we're like a little bit down tempo wise here. Drawing Sunburst, Cats, and Zolani. Not the greatest. We're at three for Nico, right? There's a bird. Maybe that's Nico. What do you think? Maybe you should just like blow all your removal on this poor 2 3 over here. I think that's the play. It's gotta be. No hesitation, just. Just vengeance it or something. You did one yordle Not too late. Suddenly geography means nothing. Three. Are they at Ruination Manor? Yeah. Dog Fey Weapon Master. Dog Fey. That's what I have on board right now. So I can't even level her. Hmm. There goes my weapon. Five out of six. That's seven, okay. 
Five, five. Man, they're they're at twenty five though. Turn seven. Nope, oh, that is a fantastic draw. Couple of buffs on there. Get even more buffs from Nico. This should be good. Elite bird. So this is enough to level her. So I can just pick whatever. I actually wonder if it's better to play Nico first, like every time. So in case you get like the the stun bird, it, uh, there's two daybreak birds. So starting your turn with Nico might just always be better, I guess. Oh, I suppose they get there now. Huh? Seventeen. They don't get there. Not again. I think I I am pretty likely to need this win con here. That was their second Vengeance Obliterated. No, no, no. I should pay more attention to that. Yeah, they, they really need Avengers. The cat actually did a lot of work there. The cat, the cat only had plus three plus three, but just yeah, having like a six five for four mana with overwhelm is pretty good, man. It works Yay! out. Everyone is invited to picnic. Thinking of the Brazilian Victor, time bomb printer, one two, Mr. Shifter, not a quitter, fighting. 